god. I know. I know. I like something that I would like you to work on. All right. Thanks. Okay, that was actually one of my most favorite moments of the whole movie. Tom Hanks is acting, and then her, uh, that, that was really good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head-to-head -head with a league of their own. I fall on you, you fall on me, let your love run free. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers, and especially returning subscribers, what's up? Independence Day is right around the corner here in the good old US of A, and that means apple pie, mom, and baseball. We are diving into the third one of those tonight with a league of their own. This movie won a poll over on Patreon. I wouldn't say it was a home run. See what I did there? But it was the clear winner, so here we are. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Lori Petty, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell. It's got a really stacked cast. I never saw this movie because growing up, I wasn't really big into sports or sports films, but as I'm getting older, I'm developing more of an appreciation for those. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've got a tumbler full of peach tea. That should come as no surprise to you if you've seen previous videos on the channel. And I will remind you that you can check out our Patreon for the early unedited version of these reactions, along with Discord benefits, polls, and more. I appreciate all of our patrons over there and I certainly appreciate you guys for watching here on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, leave those amazing comments. All those things are completely free to you and they really do help the channel. So thank you in advance for that. Right now though, we can just jump on into A League of Their Own. Be sure to stick around for the after party at the end of the reaction. But for now, boys and girls, let's grab our hymnals, turn to page 1992 and watch A League of Their Own. Anytown, USA. the clock that we all had in the 80s where'd you find this a league of their own it was one of those cartons that came over yeah. it's a lot of aquanet in this house needs oil <laughs> who doesn't margaret i just don't think this is a good idea oh come on mom it makes me nervous and bill pullman the bill that is not dead that people always think is dead poor bill paxton you'll sleep on the plane keep going the out of the room. is there fire weisenheimer Weisenheimer. Give him a chance to shoot. Promise? Yeah. Okay. Kill him. Grandma that every grandkid loves. Where did all the station wagons go? I mean, I know they're probably in a junkyard into like cubes like this, but like there were so many station wagons back then and they're just all gone now. And ain't nobody restoring those. With the boys overseas, baseball pitches in for the war effort. Walter Harvey, the candy bar king. Oh, there's old Gary Marshall. Ira Lowenstein. There's David Strathairn. Okay. Has been given the job of how to keep baseball going. Oh, I see. Oh, Crazy. there's John Lovett. Yeah. SNL. No high ones. I like the high ones. Lori Petty, old tank girl. <laughs> Anger issues, girl. Anger issues. Careful. Oh, oh. oh. that's it, Daddy. You did it. Way out there. You ever hear Dad introduce us to people? Daddy's sister. Should have just had you and bought a dog. <laughs> Aww. So clearly we're already setting up some sister rivalry here, right? Hey. Hey yourself. Doesn't that hurt them? Doesn't seem to. That's true. That would bruise the hell out of me. <laughs> it's a real league, professional. Mm-hmm. They'll pay you $75 a week. Mm, paying job. We only make 30 at the dairy. Well then, this would be more, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you like baseball, it's a good deal. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. I gotta sign something. I don't want you. I want her. Here we go. No, wait. Can't you just watch me pitch? <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> if she comes, you can come too. Yeah, of course. That's the angle, right? That's these wild animals away from oh me. Oh my God, that's I'm totally Mark. That's least. totally Mark. Out in the nature, hundred percent. We have increased sales 106%. If I had your job, I'd kill myself. <laughs> See if I could dig up a pistol. He is just so, just, I don't know. I got her, oh look, that's the train! Oh, oh, oh. Now, I do love music from this era. I, I don't, I mean, I like music from all eras, actually, but I really, there's a time and a place for this kind of music, and it really just gets you in a good mood, you know? Riding the rails. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Damn. He's got an eye like DiMaggio. Good. Jesus, Good. I, I would get out of the way if I were you guys. Her mom's dead. It's just the two of us. Aww. Okay, Marta. Come here. Boys, hit the showers. <laughs> we didn't do anything, but all right. Take off your hat, honey. 
Oh, it's Broomhilda from Robin Hood in Tights. We'll let you know. Oh. <gasps> oh, poor thing. As if John Lovett's any better. I know my girl ain't so pretty as these girls. Oh. She loves to play. Please. That's a good dad right there. You gotta go where things happen. Nothing's ever gonna happen here. And the one behind him is like, what? We just moved here. Daddy. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's a big deal for her getting to leave home. Go chase her dreams. See how it works is the train moves, not the station. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it out. I do love John Lovitz though. My God, he makes me laugh. He's just, I guess he's just so sarcastic, you know? Now I'll tell you guys, as much as I wasn't a huge sports fan, I do love going to actual sports events. I love the energy of the crowd, the overpriced food, the overpriced beer, the really overpriced beer. You're going? Yeah, I'm just going home, grab a shower and a shave, give the wife a little pickle tickle. Oh, God. Hey, mate. Rosio. Wow. Come here and look at this. Madonna. It's I remember so that she was in this. I think this movie was kind of made them besties, right? Like, well, Madonna besties, right? Where she, like, keeps friends around as long as she wants them and suddenly, like, the number doesn't work anymore, you know what I mean? Some of you are going to have to go home. What Let's do you mean, home. some of us? Do it. Oh, sh**. Barehanded? Okay, some of them are going home. Hey, how did you do that? <laughs> as they get away, she's like, oh, my God, that hurts so much. Enormously dangerous consequences to the home, the children, and our country. <laughs> the children. It's all about the children. We always act like things are so bad now, like nothing's ever been this bad, but there's always been controversy, you know, and pushback on things going all the way back. Your name will be on one of those five lists. Yes, I'm a bee! Good for you, Tank Girl. Honey, are you supposed to be here, or are you on the cut list? Oh, that's a Q-sack. Just look on the list. It's either Rockford or <gasps> C. Oh, she can't read. Can you read, honey? Oh, it's going to be sad. Shirley Baker, let's just take a look. Oh, good. I was about to say, because Shirley's day would have gotten a lot of shit. She wasn't even on the list. Can't read any not on the list, so thank God she's there. You all have to get fitted for your uniform. Pretty darn nifty, if you ask me. Well, well, I wonder who designed those. Oh, there's no pockets for my cigarettes. Uh, there is no smoking. There is also no drinking and no men. Oh, you just killed Madonna for sure. She's dead now. Every girl in this league is going to be a lady. I am rooting for Marla. I have decided Marla is my girl. I have faith in her. She's going to be, she's she's my one. She's my one. Because she's got the heart, you know? Legs always together. A lady reveals nothing. <laughs> <laughs> a lady reveals ah. nothing. Ooh, she got like two bumps of cocaine today. The eyebrows thin and separate. There should be two. Mm -hmm. Is that Taylioni? What do you suggest? Look like her. A lot of night games. Oh. Poor Marla. See? See why I'm on her side? Come on. I'm showing you around. Beautiful, huh? Oh, I almost forgot Tom Hanks was in this, actually. I've quit drinking. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to manage one of the new girls' baseball teams. You wave your little hat in the air, you give the people a thrill. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Kind of bring a name to the whole thing, right? I'm going to get him to sign my husband's baseball card. Oh, do you mind? Could I take a look at that? Mint. So after the Green Mile, this now marks two films of Tom Hanks where I've seen him peeing. Can you sign my husband's baseball card for me? Oh, sh Poor girl. The Rutford Peaches. Ain't too many people here. <laughs> God, they're all laughing at them. They'll prove them wrong, though, right? Like, they're all, they'll be really good. Oh, look at Georgia. Good job, girl. Two balls and no strikes to Rockford's big catcher, Dottie Hinson. <laughs> Jimmy's otherwise uh, engaged right now. <laughs> no, that got their f***ing attention, didn't it? Especially like that move in the fifth inning when you scratched your balls for an hour. Only thing worth doing is worth doing right. <laughs> Oh, 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 Jesus. Whoa. If we paid you a little bit more, Jimmy, could you be just a little more disgusting? Well, I could certainly use the money. <laughs> yeah, we know how this goes though, On right? The home front. He'll come around. The new All-American Girls Baseball League. Wow. So they must have really learned how to play baseball for this because I can't imagine there would be a big budget for special effects here, you know? 
Betty Horn enjoys cooking spaghetti and knitting. Oh, my God. Her teammates call her Betty Spaghetti. Betty Spaghetti. And how about Marla Hoosh? Oh, poor Marla. They filmed like a mile away. I'm Anna Dillon Gardner. I play right field. He has no idea what to do, does he? Can I take, take my son with me on road trips? No, uh, yes, or... He's the sweetest little boy. Oh, I doubt that. They always say that. And what I f***ing tell you every time. God, yes. Oh. No, throw him out. Just throw him right out. And where, where is she? Go get your kid. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to kill your son. Justified. You can't leave us like this, please. Oh, my God. That wasn't necessary. Mr. Gusatelli shan't be returning. Shan't. Mr. Dugan. What is it, baby? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh Jesus, no, that's not By a good way, idea. I love you in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Myra Gulch. <laughs> I bet they just scared the over O'Donnell. It's like a really fun place though, actually. It'd be a lot of fun. My father wrote the dance hall upstate. She was one of the dancers. I was a bouncer. <laughs> I was a bouncer. You say we slip I'm in the back seat. You make a man out of me. Oh, Jesus. We're going to smack you around for a while. Can't we do both? Girl, are you going to end up pregnant? Kit. Okay, sorry. We got to go. Come on. All right, all right. Let's make like a bread truck and hold buns, ladies. Oh, my God. That is one of the worst, best lines I've ever heard in any movie ever. Thinking of you. Yeah, get it, Marla. Stop singing. Oh, my God. I love it. you. Oh, she's locked in. And look at him. He he receives and, and reciprocates. <laughs> That's the second time he dropped that Bible since she's been in there. <laughs> Who's that, Marla? Oh, of course. It's Madonna. Why wouldn't it be? Here's the pitch. There's a shot into right center. No wonder they call her all the way made. Don't think that's why, but sure. Second base mate, Marla Hooch. Oh, that's old boy from, uh, what is it? Laverne and Shirley. Squeaky? Is that him, Squeaky? I can never remember any of this. Y'all gonna f up old Broomhilda. She's doing her best. Y'all gonna mess her up now. Who's the goddamn manager? I am! Act like it, you big lush. Oh. See, now it's where he starts to care. He'll start to take him a little bit more interest in it, right? That girl can hit. Gra gra grabbed. Grabbed. Aw. She's teaching her to read with, with romance novels. Hey, whatever works, right? Is this your boyfriend? Yep. Is it out of focus? No, that's how he looks. <laughs> He's stupid, he's out of work, and he treats me bad. <laughs> Give me that. Okay. So long, Charlie. We know where she's headed after this. Which team do you play for? I'm a peach. Well, I was just wondering. Now you start using your head. That's not love. That's three feet above your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> and you know why? No. No. <laughs> because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! Oh my god. Poor Evelyn. Hey, but I will defend Jimmy a little bit here because true equality means talking to them like you would talk to anybody else. You know what I mean? Like, at least he's not treating her differently because she's a woman, you know? Which is good. Now, should he not talk to anyone that way? Probably. A reporter and a photographer in the stands from Life Magazine. Why? What's the matter? Just give them everything you've got. You always do. Oh, yeah, because see how empty the stands are. You need to, like, generate interest, right? She's under it. Oh! Uncle oh, Elmore socks! That's the shot right there, right? All right! God knows we have a game. Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. It's all fun and games till somebody gets mono. Betty Spaghetti. I mean, Marla Hooch is my girl, but like, I like Betty Spaghetti as a name. It sounds like an old uh, Garbage Pail Kids card. What if at a key moment in the game? Oops, my bosoms come flying out. You think there were men in this country who ain't seen your bosoms? Oh, the truest quote in the whole movie. Marla, my girl! I'm happy for her. You live your best life, girl. That's gotta hurt. 
Yeah, right? Oh my god. That's like when I went and played paintball the one and only time. Oh, here we go. Sibling rivalry again. Oh, look, they have more people now. Yeah, the crowds are starting to fill up the stands, right? Now it's time to bring in some drama, I bet. That's how it goes, right, with these movies. You get the comedy, and then we bring it down. What does he do when he's down in the army? He's assistant manager at the dairy. He's just good looking and smart. There's so few of us. <laughs> do I see a little something happening here? I know that they're not going to go that route, I'm sure, because she's going to be the good wife who stays with her husband, of course. But like, but they they have good on screen on screen chemistry, I would say. Kit Keller looks mighty tired. What do you think? She's done. She's throwing great balls <gasps> at them. Oh. Oh oh. You did a fabulous job. Oh, I won't forget this. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Harvey. Thank you very much. I think the girls deserve most of the credit. Good. Yes, they do. Yes. Good for you to say. We're winning the war. So we won't need the girls next year. Oh, so see, this is all just a vanity exercise. But even he's starting to believe now, right? Because you can see the disappointment in his face. Do you know how dedicated these girls are? They ride a bus sometimes all night to play a doubleheader the next morning. Oh, so maybe that's why Kate was so tired. She rode a bus all night to play a doubleheader. Okay. I think you're wrong. And I'm going to prove it to you, Mr. Harvey. Okay. What's the matter, Kate? You too big to finish your own games now? Uh, oh, she will punch you in the face. I would not pick a fight with her. Uh uh. Girl, what did I just say? Hey, will Helen, you please, shut up, Helen, you right? Me more upset. Shut up, Helen. Helen. Reminds me of my husband. <laughs> All I know is you could have backed me up today instead of holding me back. What does that mean? It's like if you're here, I'm not here. I feel that. She's like frustrated, right? That she's, you know, of course, the younger sister. And she's like, when you're here, I'm, I'm, they don't see me. It's personal. I can arrange a trade. Trade here or whatever, but you gotta figure it out by tomorrow. She's gonna leave, right? Hey, Paul, does anybody have any extra holes? Holes? It don't fit you, May. It's too tight. I don't plan on wearing it that long. I believe that. Maybe. <laughs> Jesus, Bitch. girl, you don't live here. This is like something we have to pay for now. I've been traded to Racine. Oh, he traded her. I, I told him to trade me. Miss Star, Miss Perfect. You know exactly what was gonna happen. Oh my God, it's gonna be even worse now. And there's a window to pay for. Batter up to play. A chaperone. <laughs> that kid. No, it's got work with that. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh my God. He makes me laugh so hard with the way he acts with her. And then lighten a match. <laughs> Still effective. I got a telegram from one of you ladies from the War Department. <gasps> oh no. At least the army could do is send someone personally until your husband's dead. Oh my God. Who is this guy? I'm sorry, Betty. No, John! <laughs> oh no, it's Betty Spaghetti. God, that that's true though. What the hell? They just sent a telegram like that? Not even an act. I thought they sent somebody to tell you. <laughs> Because she thought it was going to be her husband, right? Because she was like, knew how close she came to it being hers. Oh, is that him? Hey, cutie. Bill Pullman, not Paxton. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. I've been discharged. Oh, see, now she's going to leave now. Yeah. I've seen a lot of times they tuck their tie in like that with the uniform. I, why is that? Is there a reason? Or is it just like a, a style thing? Yeah. Wow. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. <laughs> Avoid the clap. That's See, good advice. This movie's got really good lines like that just peppered throughout. Baseball is what gets inside you. It's what lights you up. It just got too hard. The hard is what makes it great. That's actually a really good line too. I joke around a lot, but I really, I love lines like that. That's, that's good. That's very good. <gasps> Look at those crowds now. Remember when there was like 10 people at the beginning of the movie? He gets excited. Of course it is. Tied. What does that smell? Alice thinks it's bad luck to change her socks. Mm. Come on, girl. May our feet be swift. May our bats be mighty. I'd just like to thank you for that waitress in South Bend. Evelyn. She kept calling your name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bethany, play ball. For real. Oh my God. Do you hear me? Yeah. 
Hi, you're screaming. I hear you. Oh, Dottie Lou. What you doing here, girl? You don't want me to play? Well, you're already dressed. Oh, called your bluff, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, thousand percent. <laughs> It's okay. Evelina, he deserved, <laughs> he deserved it. Oh my God. She's speaking for me. Yes. All right. Come on, See, I think this is why I love sports movies more than actual sports because they just, they, they like water it down to the best moments. Oh my God. I know. I know. I got something that I would like you to work on. All right. Thanks. Okay, that was actually one of my most favorite moments of the whole movie. Tom Hanks is acting, and then her, uh, that, that was really good. <laughs> These are both two really good teams. <laughs> I'll babysit that little porker. If looks could kill. Okay. Oh, on the Damn. Call me she like she went right for her. There's no crying in baseball. Wait, there's a fly by this one. Oh, good job, extra. You're up. You're the hitter now. Let's go. Hey, girl. High fastballs. She can't hit him. Can't lay off. Ooh, she's going for the jugular. Dottie's like, we can make up at Thanksgiving. We gotta win this game right now. Swing and a miss. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Poor girl. I do feel kind of bad for her, actually. There we go, yeah. Even Dottie's surprised. Oh, sh wow. Show on purpose, right? Give her sister a win. Oh, see, so she's happy for her sister that she gets to have a moment, but that the girl's a little sad. All right, Ira. We'll stick with it. One more season. Look how many people are there. Hi. How much are these? What's your favorite part? Running or hitting? Thank you. Bitch, that's why you don't make any money. Look, I'm going back to the hotel, and then Bob and I are driving back to Oregon. You're welcome to come with us. I'd just be in the way. Yep. Thank you for getting me into the league, Daddy. You got yourself in the league. I got you on the train. That's a nice thing to say. We know it's all bullshit, but it's a nice thing to say. I love you, Ken. Aw, that's nice. You just offered me a job managing next year in Wichita. Turn it down. Why? I already got a job. Look at that. See, I knew he, they'd win him over. Now he loves his job. Managing the peaches. Oh, yeah, I forgot we kind of started the movie with her being older, right? Oh, so it's like a reunion. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so they're going back to, like, how it all started. Daddy? Ooh, the arthritis and everything. May? All the way, May? So you know what's called me that since last night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's frightening. Daddy? Hmm? What the hell's that? Oh, is that my girl, Marla Hooch? She went blonde. Girl, looking good. Aww. Oh, I like that we get to see them all older now and like getting to go down memory lane. You remember? You're gonna lose. <gasps> oh, shit, it's Evelyn's boy. <gasps> Where's Evelyn? She Did she die? She was a real nice lady and a damn fine ball player. She was. Yeah, died in 87. 81 though, I made it a long, good long life. You are the first women ever to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Good job, ladies. Since you kept the league going all those years, Aww. you do it. Ira. They did a good job matching the older actors with their younger counterparts. Except Madonna. She would never allow herself to age accurately like that. Battle. Battle. The time has come. Madonna get up in there trying to like take over. Not surprising. Each girl's that you, Grandma? So oh, that's Kit. Okay. God damn, girl, how many kids do you have? She looks like a real old lady. Like they did a good job with Gene Davis's makeup. Oh, come Marla. My girl. Oh, is this a true story then? 
I mean, that makes you think it really is, or it's based on a true story at least. Bad up. I have to say that one was fun. That that movie, like you know, you guys know I joke all the way through stuff because when I have a good time, anyway, I do. And I had a good time watching this movie. Uh, I really have to be honest with you guys. Did not know what to expect going into it. I had my expectations set low just in case, and it really knocked it out of the park pun intended so yeah i i thought that this was very well done um i don't know if this is true or not that makes me believe that it must be the way they did that last little you know title card but yeah i i gotta say like it was a very inspirational movie and it was i think very well done as far as the writing because this had some really funny moments and I thought that every time they started to get too into like any certain, I don't know, like kind of moment, like where it would be, you know, kind of down or kind of serious, they'd have a really funny line to bring it out of it, you know, um, or anytime that it was really kind of light and everything was going well, we got the news of like, you know, Betty Spaghetti's husband being killed in the war to bring us back to like why we're all, you know, doing this in the first place. And so I think there was a series made of this. I saw, I could be wrong about that, kind of recently. Um, and I get that. That makes sense because this seems like the kind of story that you could tell in like a series format. Uh, I don't know if it's doing well. I don't know if it's even out or I could be wrong with this altogether. So yeah, good job and good acting. Good acting from Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, Rosie O'Donnell, Madonna. They all did a great job with this. It looked like they were all having fun. It looked like they were all having a good time. It looked like they all actually really learned to play baseball. I'll tell you that. Um, I'm sure there were some stunt players in here. Uh, but the way that they edited it was in such a, a great fashion that I didn't even notice. Um, so I'll give them that, but yeah, good job. Good recommendation guys. And thank you to Patreon for voting for this one. Uh, I hope you guys here in the States have a great independence day. Uh, be safe, have fun, shoot fireworks, eat hot dogs, all that awesome stuff. We'll be back, uh, watching, I think next will be Batman, uh, Dark Knight. And then we're watching Game of Thrones, of course, season two. So, Tune in for that. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all those things that really help the channel. I certainly appreciate that. But nonetheless, I always appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos in general. So have a great rest of the day slash night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. Stay humble.